Well, hi guys. Dan here. Well, you're probably wondering where I'm at now. Well, I got something to show you guys. Actually, I'm not at the middle fork right now. Now I'm heading to the north fork. Which is about three and a half miles from where I'm at right now. I'm descending down in the canyon. I wanted to show you along my ways what I came along and found. Check this out. Got an X marker. You guys see that? Yep. I'm gonna get up here a little bit. There. How's that? Now they've this is first time I've been here in about three years and uh, the X marker right there that's they marked their territory and that's what we're heading into right now and as you can see he's marked this out pretty well and that one's pretty loud so that's a symbol of a warning and then we got some more over here. Always laid up. Now I got something else to show you. I'll take a little walk down here. You guys got to check this out. Talk about a tree in a tree. This part of the North Fork, and the area I'm in right now, this is considered one of the most wilderness parts of the part of the Sierras up here. And the squatches are here, and I know that for a fact. Check that out. I like that. Look at that. It comes right down here. That's something. And that, my friends, was put there. I've already observed this area. And this is not in a natural state. Come a different angle. Front view. There, check that out, guys. Look at that. That's the point. That's the tip. See that? Just put in there. Is a semi horizontal. Look at that. Isn't that something? Look at the legs. never know what you're going to find in the Sierras, I'm telling you. Wow. That's cool. Now, in this area I'm at right now, three years ago, me and Garland were doing some tracking, and we picked up some footprints. The largest one, about 17 and a quarter, 17 and a half inches by five and a half to six inches in width. And, uh, and on top of that, there's probably been about a dozen different uh, eyewitness accounts in this area, from hikers to hunters. You hear that? You guys hear that clucking noise? Because Sasquatch does make a particular type of vocalization by using that. 
that one sound right there. So I'll give this one more shot. And I'm gonna do something else, guys. When I get done with this, I will be talking to you in front of the camera pretty soon. So I just want to get one more look down here. Okay, guys, I will catch you in a little bit, okay? Gotta go. Hello, guys. I'm back. <laughs> um, look at This is probably all I'm going to do today. It's hiking in. We're going to kind of give it a rest. It's, uh, the fires we have out here and you know up north from us and we're been getting hit in three different directions so 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 far it hasn't uh, I'm up too high right now in the Sierras we're, I'm up around over 7,000 feet so I'm sitting right down here about halfway down a canyon um, the uh, air quality is not going to be too good today so uh, today I got I have uh, I have one of my assistants is with me today, Valentin, and so today I'm not alone. Um, and also, uh, about the caves, I should say the cave, actually so far I found two caves. I have not, I haven't, uh, I'll put it this way, you probably, I, I know some of you out there is going to ask me, hey, have you explored it yet? Okay, the answer I'm telling you right now, I'm not going to answer that right now. Okay, um, and the reason is because it's it's still in the works. Okay, so I'm not I'm not going to say anything about nothing right now. Um, when I get to that point, I will let you know. <coughs> and um, I also wanted to say too that uh, you see that that part of the middle fork is is kind of important because not only because it's, it's, it's prehistoric because I know I know they're living in some solution caves down in there or a cave that can go that goes in pretty deep in the side of a mountain now the one I showed on the site that's exactly what that one does um, and uh, and the reason I'm doing that because that is a, that is another phase to uh, my research I will prove without a shadow of a doubt they do live in the ground. Now, where I'm at right now, see as y'all step out of the way a sec. You probably can't see, but straight ahead of you, up a little higher, it's a hell of a side of a mountain. And uh, I stopped film here because about five minutes ago when we were coming down here, we got some movement right behind me. I'm not quite sure if it already came down across this pathway and continued down the canyon. We're not sure, but it happened in this vicinity. It came off the side of this mountain. Now we're being very vigilant too because uh, I ran in uh, I ran into one of the rangers up here in this particular spot I'm at because of the fact this is uh, one of the most this is one of the most wilderness parts in this part of the Sierras by the uh, North Fork and I mean very rarely do you even see a human being around here in 
and there's places around here humans haven't even been at. It's really eerie, to tell you the truth. Uh, probably about five, about an hour ago, we had about a 250, 300 pound black bear went right in front of us. I mean, a full run, full run. This thing was just skedaddling. Kind of startled my partner over here for a second. <laughs> but you know, there's something like that, it'll, it'll put the whammy to if you ain't prepared. It came out of nowhere. Now, my guess is this. Usually when you have a predator that size running, this thing was running like it was running for its life. I shit you not. It was scared. There's only two other things that's going to that's gonna scare a black bear like that. That's a bigger bear. Or there's something else out here that scared the hell out of it. You know what I'm talking about. That's one of the two factors. That just happened an hour ago. And uh, as a matter of fact, I ran up, we ran to the ranger about, about an hour ago too. So we let that information on, on them up there. And also, uh, we found out, uh, the ranger told us that... Um, they had to, they had a black bear out of here. They had to use, a, uh, they had to put it down. It went up here, it tore into one of the camps. And uh, it was putting a tear in some uh, campers, okay? They had no choice, they had to put it down. That happened just right up here from me. So right now we're being really vigilant because there be, there's, apparently we got some bear up here that are very, very aggressive for some odd reason. The uh, rangers can't figure it out, but uh, I've got my hog leg wicks me and I ain't worried about it. Um, so we're just being very uh, vigilant right now. Oh, and by the way, one other, one other note I wanted to make, if you noticed in the, in the one video with the cave, with the cave entrance, there's a log sitting adjilling it to it. Now, before I filmed that video, and times before, you see, I've been in that area back and forth for years, okay? And that log had never been there before. That's just been kind of recent. And I'll tell you something else, too. That log did not come from any, from any part of that vicinity where that entrance is at. It did not come from there. It came up from higher up, a little bit deeper into the forest. So literally, it was brought there and intentionally put there. I just wanted you to know that. And is the entrance big enough to get in? You betcha. You betcha. Human being go right in there and piece of cake. Now what made that so significant, that particular one which I'm holding under a suspect, is because of the fact it's not far from the river. Okay? And it made very good damn sense to me of why if, if it was being used as a dwelling, it would be a perfect dwelling. Okay, you got every, all your entities right there. And also I wanted to let you know that that particular spot on the middle fork that I showed you, if you follow that upstream for about, uh, about nine miles, that's where me and Garland had a, we had a uh, really nice Bigfoot sighting, a big male, about uh, eight and a half feet. Seven, eight hundred pounder. We watched him for a good ten minutes. I shit you not. It was a one. It was a <laughs> hell of an experience. And that's why I know pretty much what they are and what they look like. Although there's different species of them, I want you to know that. So basically, they all look a little different. I've seen I've seen quite a few species, and uh, they don't quite all look the same. Um, this place here is, it's, 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 they have it marked out. That's why you see the big X markers. For some reason, these squatches up here are really into X markers. This one here up there that's telling me it's, it's basically, it's a big stop sign. It's like a warning. They don't want you here. And I'll tell you something else, whatever came down the side of this mountain, that, uh, that kind of rattled our cage a little bit because it just stopped. It, it knows we're here. We don't know where it's at. But my guess it knows where we're at. So, anyway, uh, that's the skinny on everything, and, and my research does still continue on this, on this another phase I'm doing, okay? 
Um, now, pretty soon we'll be taking the rest of this trail down here because right now we're, we're only like probably about two miles from the, uh, from the uh, North Fork. I do know for a fact we have, uh, we have the Solution Caves down here too. It's just getting to it. So we're going to have to continue this. We'll continue this at another time period and um, the smoke's getting bad now. It's starting to filter through the trees, so. Uh, look at here, guys. You know, when we, when we come out to the forest as human beings, we have got to be really careful what we do. We, you know, we can't keep lighting these forests up, man. We just can't. You know, it's not good for the environment. Kills a lot of the animals. It's just not a good thing. Okay, we just we we really need to be careful, be more vigilant when we're up here. Respect it. I just got some more movement coming down from us to our right. Um, so we're we can smell the smoke. Smell the smoke. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's getting sm it's starting to get smoky, guys. So uh, before the air quality gets too damn bad, we're gonna start. Uh, we got to climb to get the hell out of here. So. And like I said, we gotta watch our backs right now. Um, but anyway, this place is this place is a hot activity activity area for squatches. That is a fact. And um, so right now, we're gonna go ahead and wrap this up because we really gotta pay attention to what's going on around us. Anyway, look it. I hope you liked this video. I hope it was informative. And until next time, hey, we'll be seeing you again shortly. You guys take care. Gotta go. Bye.